I think what's new in climate science and in some and increasingly in other sciences too is the role of computer simulation, which wasn't historically available and which meteorologists in, really invented. It's the first, I mean the first time anything was predicted by a mathematical model using laws of nature is really weather forecasting. And it's, so we've tested that over many years and climate science is built on that, on that success. Um, I think it's, it's still almost unique in that way. There are very few things that are predicted. Almost all other forms of prediction that we can think of like economic models, you know, models that are used to predict the stock market, um, you know, the models people use to predict sports. I mean, if you read Nate Silver, these are all statistical models. They're basing future uh, returns on past performance in some way, whereas climate models and weather models are not that. They're the laws of physics solved mathematically on a computer. Now that's also done in, in, in that's being done in all areas of science. So I would say so it is, computer simulation is changing how science is done. Some people call it a third mode of investigation. There's experiment and theory. Those are the two traditional I mean, philosophers or philosophers of science have written for a long time about how experiments and theory are different or the same and how they work with each other. So simulation is somewhere in between. And uh, sometimes you shouldn't trust a simulation. Sometimes maybe you can. How do you know the difference? Um, all simulations are not created equal. Some models are very faithful to the thing they're simulating. Some are not. Some are, some are you know, really vividly realistic and some are not. Um, we have ways of telling, but it's a, I think it is, uh, it is changing the way we do science.